So this video is gonna keep a ton of you out of the repair shop this year. All right, so it's the beginning of the season. You're ready to go trim. You pull your trimmer out of the garage. It's got the same gas that's left in it last year. You probably let it sit for, I don't know, at least six months, maybe longer. You go to try to start it up and usually it's boggy. It won't pick up. You try it over and over again and you will never get it to take off. So what do you do? You take it to the repair shop. But guess what? You gave up too soon. I'm gonna tell you how to get it going. Now I got my Shindawa T242 here and I'm going to try to start it up. Now I have not ran this all winter long, so it's probably been sitting for at least six months. I'm going to start it up and let's see what she does. Turn her on, put her on choke, primer a couple times, primer bulbs filled up. I'm going to go to starter. So is that what happened to you? Let's try her again. Wow. So is this what happened to you? Every time you start it, it bogs out on you and dies, so you just take it to the shop? Don't go yet. Try this simple little trick to get you going. Now, why does it do this? That's because while it sits, the diaphragms inside the carburetor will harden a little bit and they will not regulate the gas through the carburetor correctly. So you have to do something to get them pliable again so they start pumping that fuel. So this is my super simple trick to get it going. What I actually do to a ton of trimmers that come in the shop every single year. So I'm gonna start it back up just like I did a second ago. And when I do, I'm gonna start giving it gas and I'm gonna give it full throttle while I grab the choke and I'm going to keep going up and down on the choke. That way it'll keep forcing some fuel into the carburetor and then drying it out, forcing some fuel in the carburetor, drying it out. Let's see what it does. Got it turned on. Start. Now, as soon as you get it to pick up like that, keep going on the throttle. Do not let go of it. Just go balls to the walls until you hear it level off perfectly at the correct RPMs. If you only knew how many trimmers came into the shop and that's all I had to do. Now this is gonna get a lot of you going, but if it still acts like it's boggy after that, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is check your fuel. I leave these little pipettes in the description box below if you wanna get your, yourself some. All you gotta do is go down to the bottom of your gas, suck it up, see if there's any water or debris in there. That way you know if you have to get rid of that fuel. If you wanna make some fresh gas the way I do it to keep my equipment running every single year, I can let it sit just like that. I always use Red Armor Oil. I leave it in the description box below. It comes in different sizes depending on how much you're gonna mix. And I also use ethanol shield even though a bunch of you say it's snake oil i don't know it works for me you can get this bottle it's four ounces it mixes to 20 gallons you only use an, a cap full for every gallon and it mixes 40 gallons for auto and marine also i wanted to let you all know i had told you that the hd endoscope was on sale for 49.99 from its regular 70 dollar price so that was awesome but i did not know that on amazon when you go there and right underneath it it says clip a 20 percent coupon so you can get this for like 36 dollars that is what the usually the cheapo ones cost. So that's super awesome. Also, I saw today that the tachometer that everybody loves so much that you wanted, but it got up to a crazy price, like $120. They have them on Amazon again for, I think it's 68 bucks, which is the price it was like two years ago. So if you wanna get one of these, there's a link in the description box below. So guys, like I said, do not give up if your trimmer's messing up like that. Do that choke thing just over and over again. Sometimes it will take a lot longer than mine just did, but just keep at it for a while before you go to the repair shop because it's just a way to save you. I don't know how much they're going to charge you because they're probably going to change your fuel out, change your plug. They'll end up cha charging you at least 30 bucks. So 
definitely try that before you go to the repair shop. All right, now that I got that little tip out of the way, let me show you what's going on around the shop. We have been busy, busy, busy getting stuff together. That way we can sell it for this spring. I got nine push mowers ready to go. Now, some of these still look dirty. We're not washing them until right before we sell them. That way they'll be pretty. So we've been whittling down on our pile that we got back here. If y'all saw it before, this whole area was full of push mowers and now they're all fixed. It's the weekend, so we got all the riders jam-packed up in here, but these are the ones that we're selling. I've got this Craftsman. We finally got the spring in for the break. I did a video on that one a while back. That thing is like, what did I say, 30 years old, and it still runs amazing. Whoever had that took really good care of it. Got this John Deere 42-inch cut with a bag kit. I'm going to get a good amount of money for that thing. It looks nice. I got this commercial X mark that we put the magnets back into the flywheel. It runs amazing, cuts amazing, has a great deck, good transmissions. Still gotta figure out something about this seat. I'm gonna paint the gas tanks black again. Other than that, once we clean it up, it's gonna be a nice machine for somebody. I've got a Husqvarna, Husqvarna 48 inch that I'm gonna be selling. And uh, this thing, I think we did, it was just engine work and belts maybe and some uh, steering issues that this one had, but it's ready to go now. Then I got this snapper over here and I know it looks super scary. It is super old. This is one that a guy brought into the shop like four years ago. He wanted us to put a battery on it. We serviced it completely out, got the engine running. It needed welding on the deck. It, it needed a lot of work, but the guy ended up, I should have got a deposit. I didn't. And uh, he never came back and picked it up. So it's mine now. And I guess I'm going to clean it up and sell it. It does run great though. And then back over here, we've got a Craftsman together. It's a T2100. You know, they are not my favorite riders, but as expensive as they are going for it at the big box stores these days, I think I'll be able to get a good amount for this one. We've also been busy doing a lot of spring cleaning. I mean, this is all trash we loaded up. And we did something I'm really excited about. We've been doing this. And I know you're like, what is that? This wall looks a lot different than what you've seen it in the past. I've made probably 150 videos against this wall when it used to look like this. But I have the new shop now and I'm gonna start making my videos in there or out in the yard because really I like being outside more than anything. So we are finally utilizing this space for a ton of workout equipment that we've had for years and years all piled in a corner and got it set up pretty nice. On top of that, we got most everything else cleared out and I got my billiards table uncovered after 10 years. Now, you know me, I'm not one to brag, but I am gonna let you know about 25 years ago when I was 18 years old, I was number two woman in the state in the APA league. Now that year my team won because the other lady I was playing with, she was number one. And guess what the APA did that year? Since the majority of all the games that were played were played in bars, and I was only 18 years old, they decided to change the rules that you had to be 21 years old to play in the APA. So yeah, I guess I was making changes back then. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in to Chicanic. Hopefully this video saved you some time, money, and frustration. If you haven't found me at Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me on Instagram at TheRealChicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys, and have a great day.